So somebody, I'm not going to say who, broke the tip off of the Shorn 3D taster. To replace the tip, the first thing you got to check is just make sure that your Shorn 3D taster still works properly. So that the needle still comes back to zero within that black area and the green is still in like the negative 1.5 area. So if everything seems good, then you can go ahead and just replace the tip. There's no damage done to the actual indicator. The first step to replacing the tip is you got to remove this rubber boot here. So you just squeeze that. It lifts up on one side like this, and then you can push it off and pull this carefully over the broken tip. Now unscrew the probe tip. And if you can't do it by hand, you can use the tool that's included to put it through this hole and carefully unscrew the tip. I feel like there's more force. There we go. Okay. So there's a set screw in there that screws into the inside. Here's a new tip. Uh, check down in the description to see where I bought it from. They actually shipped it like overnight, very expedient shipping. So it's good if you need it quickly. Just thread it back in. And they say to tighten it with the key. There's no torque specification, so just don't overdo it. Just snug. And now we're going to put the rubber seal back on. Just slip it over the tip. Want it to go. Want it to fit right in there. And make sure that it's seated and sealed properly all the way around here. And that's it. That's all you need to do to replace a broken tip on the Shorn 3D Taster. Now that you've replaced the tip, you're going to have to put it back in the machine and do the calibration again like you did in the beginning to make sure that the tip is properly centered using some dial indicators.